Hello everyone. 안녕하세요. 오늘도 반갑습니다. Welcome to Hangri class. My name is Hangri, your Korean class teacher. As saying goes, stay hungry, stay foolish. Today we are going to learn another consonant, p. Up to now, we have learned kiok, niun, digut, liu, and miem. In this lesson, we will explore the consonant p, and the rest of the consonants will be covered in the following classes. This is character p. p is very similar to a bucket, a bucket with water in it. And how to write it? There are four stokes. Draw two vertical lines first, then write two horizontal lines in between them. p up, p up, p up. It looks like a bucket. Now let's move on to the sound of p up. p up sounds like b sound in English. b b bucket, b b bread. B b butter, b b bear, p up sounds like b sound. To boost your memory, it's time to make a fun story. All right, look at this picture. A bear eats bread and butter and drinks a bucket of water. A bear. Eats bread and butter and drinks a bucket of water, which means in Korean, 곰한 마리가 버터를 바른 빵을 먹고 물한 양동이를 마십니다. And now we are going to explore four more Korean words with p. p. 버섯. p. 병아리. p. 바람개비. Piup, pibimpap. Let us try to find piup or piups in each word. For example, in pausot, there is only one piup. Then how many piup in pyeongari? That's correct. There is one piup. In paramgebi, there are one, two, two piups. In bibimbap, there are one, two, three, four, four pips. Now I think you can recognize the shape of pip for sure. Let's talk about the sound of pip. Please listen carefully to the Korean words we have learned today. B, pausot, b, pyeongari. B, 바람개비. B, 비빔밥. Can you tell any difference between the sound of B, 버섯, and B, bucket? They sound like each other. So this is all for today. Did you enjoy it? Have a good day, everyone, and see you next class again. 다음에 또 만나요. 안녕.